Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so, so blessed today to be bringing God's truth to you. Now, today is Easter Monday. Now, we celebrate Easter because of the love that God has for us. And because of that love, he sent Jesus to die for us. And Jesus didn't just die. He died to pay the price for our freedom. And having done so, God raised him up, the Bible says, for our justification. So, hey, we are not only free from sin, we have also been justified. What does that mean? It gives us the assurance to stand right in the presence of God without any sense of guilt or inferiority. So we can approach God today and enjoy His love for us. That's why we celebrate this season. And I don't want you to forget that for one minute. It's not just, oh, He died. Oh, praise God, He has risen. Yes, but He rose for our justification. Take note of that and let it sink in your heart. You have been justified. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you have been justified. And that's why we bring the gospel message to you every day. Letting you know how justified you are. He doesn't send the gospel to condemn you. He sends the gospel to make you bold enough to approach him. Every preacher is supposed to inspire the people to approach God for themselves. A preacher is not sent by God to represent you all the time. A preacher can intercede with you. A preacher can stand in agreement with you. But hey, his real job is to make you bold enough to approach the Father by yourself. That's the whole purpose of the celebration. That's why Jesus came. Praise God. So today, as we celebrate Easter, I want this consciousness to dawn in your heart. I can actually approach God by myself. I can pray and He will hear me. I can talk to Him and He will talk back to me. Yes, God talks back to you. God speaks. And every child of God must hear His voice by themselves and for themselves. And this is the whole purpose of Jesus' coming. Praise God. So today, if you've been afraid to listen or to, to talk to the Lord yourself, let that fear drop in your heart right now. With boldness, approach your Father, because He's your Father. Jesus spoke in John chapter 16. He says, in that day, you will ask in my name, and I will not say that I will pray the Father for you, because the Father Himself loves you. See that? Because that's why he sent Jesus to die for us. It is because of his love for us. I've always said this. Sometimes we ask that question, who did God love more? Or who does God love more? The son who he was ready to risk for us or us for whom he gave up his son. Think about it. You are so loved by God. That's why you should know that nothing, nothing the enemy plans against you should be successful. Why? Because your father loves you. He has put in place systems to make you well. He has put in place systems to prosper you. That's how much he loves you. And that's why even today, as we go into this broadcast, first and foremost, I want you with this confidence that you know how much the Father loves you, call forth and call in your daily bread. Are you ready? Say this with me. Say, Father, you love me. And by your love, you have made provision for me. Today, as the world celebrates the resurrection of Jesus, I know 
You have made provisions for my daily bread. Therefore, right now, I demand for it and I receive all of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. A miracle is going to happen in your life today. Believe me. Believe me. A miracle is coming your way today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And let me tell you, this daily bread is not just about food. Daily bread means every provision, every favor. You remember, Paul says, God is able to make all grace abound towards you. See that? He is able to make, he, he has the ability. And hey, let me add this. God is willing to make all grace abound towards you, praise God. So knowing he has the ability is one thing. Understanding his willingness to do it is another thing. Now you see, both coming to the place of love. I told you that before. God is love. And love is responsibility. And responsibility means responding with ability. Praise God. So God is responding with ability to see to it that all grace abounds towards you. This is why you should not cry. This is why you should not put your head down in shame. Nothing should make you put your head down in shame. I don't know how long you have suffered in a particular situation, but I bring you good news, which is the gospel. In nothing should your head go down in shame. That is not the plan of God. That is not what he wishes for you. And guess what? Not only is it that he, did, he doesn't wish that for you, he has done something for your advantage. So it's time to rise up, wake up, Take advantage of what God has done and enjoy the goodness of his will for your life. Let no devil deceive you. Let no man cheat you of the best that God has given to you. It's yours. Praise God. It's yours. Healing is yours. Prosperity is yours. Favor is yours. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's yours. Praise God. It's time to rise up and take it. Take it for what it is. It's yours. And your father has given it to you with all joy and gladness. Praise God. Don't be ashamed to call upon his name anywhere. Praise God. Don't be. Because he hears you. He hears you. He hears you. Praise God. So love your father. Enjoy his presence. Love to talk about him. Who wouldn't talk about a loving God like our God? Who would want to keep quiet about him? He's done so much for us. Praise God. He has. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And when we celebrate him, we celebrate him big. Because he's a big God. He's, he's the one the whole world needs to know about. You, you, you think the whole world know him? No, they don't know him. They don't know him. John chapter 1 says, He came to his own and his own did not receive him. He said he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. See that? But then, he is trusting you and I that have known him. You and I that have believed in him. Why did we believe in him? Because we saw him. We saw him. We have seen him made he has made himself manifest in our lives. So we know that he is true. And because we know he's true, we testify about him everywhere we go. Praise God. That is why we preach the gospel. That is why I set out this time to bring this good news to you. Having been commanded by God who is your father. So hear me. It is time for your life to change. And I believe this broadcast this week is going to set you in motion for a physical change. A physical change. And change is going to begin from your inside and then it's going to manifest on your outside. But one thing is certain, you will never remain the same. Even right now, 
as if someone having some pains in your left ankle. Your left ankle. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That pain is leaving you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, when you stand for a while, you begin to feel that place ache you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is gone. Every pain from your waist down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every pain from your waist down. It's gone right now. The Spirit of the Lord is touching you in that waist area. I declare you healed completely in the name of the Lord Jesus. Migraine headaches are gone from you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see someone, you, you have this migraine headache and, and the left part of your head, you know, sometimes you just feel it's getting numb and, and it affects your, your eyes also. The left, your left eyes, you know, this, this strong headache. I command the root cause of this thing. I command it to go from you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's gone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's gone. You can shake your head and, and it's gone. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Everything that is not right in your body. Right now, I bring forth healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Be healed in your body in the name of the Lord Jesus. Pain in the knee area is gone from you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. I see someone you're scared. You, you have this palpitation um, in your heart and it, you, you normally get scared and, and you're wondering what it is. You are so afraid, you don't want to even go see the doctor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you wrap your hand around yourself right now, the Spirit of God wants to bring you healing. He wants to bring you healing. And He wants to destroy that fear that is coming up in your heart. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command your heart to become stable. In the name of the Lord Jesus, everything that is connected with the free flow and functionality of your heart, I speak peace over them right now. I declare over every system of your body right now that all things are working together for your good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every cell in your body, every organ, every tissue is working together right now for the good of your body. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you are living a healthy life. You are living healthy. You will live long. You will live strong in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone, I hear the Spirit of God say 12 years. 12 years. You've been believing God for something for the past 12 years. 12 years. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I join faith with you right now. And I declare the next three months, hear me, in the next three months, you are going to see, you are going to receive a report that that thing is settled. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that which you have been expecting Lord, for 12 years, it is settled in the name of of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I lift my hands right now to bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hey, the Spirit of God is doing a lot of things right now. And, and we join our faith with Him and we say, let it be done exactly as it is written in heaven. Be blessed right now. Be blessed right now. Now you're seeking the fruit of the womb. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The anointing of God is coming over you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And whatever has been the challenge, it is being made right, right now. In Jesus' name. Be free. Be made whole. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak peace to your body right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Man, praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, if you have been healed or 
you receive the miracle, we would like to hear from you. I will really, really like to hear from you. Praise God. Because we take time praying for everyone on our, our contact list. And, and you that is watching this broadcast, we pray for you daily. Praise God. Thank you very much. Because of time, we have to go now. But hey, I have a message from the Lord I want to share with you this week. So we're going to go into that tomorrow. God bless you. Have a fruitful day. Bye.